What the uh did y'all hear that? All praise Yeshua. I'm speaking in tongues. Don't worry. Um, those who are prophets know. Those who are priests know. Those who are evangelists know that speaking in tongues is is real. Hold on. Ryan Garcia said those who are prophets, priests, all things that he isn't. So why is he speaking in tongues? Listen again. He said those who are priests or prophets, they know about this life. But he's not a priest or a prophet, and he's speaking in tongues. <laughs> All praise Yeshua. I'm speaking in tongues. Don't worry. Um, those who are prophets know. Those who are priests know. Those who are evangelists know that speaking in tongues is is real. But um, these things are happening. <laughs> praise to Jesus Christ. Don't even worry about this because what the what the Illuminati and the Illuminati and the Illuminati and the Illuminati and the elites do is they take what God did and make it theirs. That's something they do. Kanye started telling the truth and they made him they made him take pills. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna take no pills. You're not gonna see me touch no pill. I'm not gonna take no pills. You're not gonna see me touch no pill. and you're not doing anything about it. That's all I'm gonna say. So everything that I'm saying is right in front of your face. And you're not doing anything about it. You're not doing anything about it. I'm screaming to the world, putting my reputation on the line. I got people wanting to cancel the fight. People telling me I need to go to a mental- Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ryan said he has people wanting to cancel the Devin Haney fight. Because it is. Oh, this is not good. Hold on. Reputation on the line. He's, I got people. So he's saying he put his reputation on the line and we are not doing anything. About All it. I'm going to say. So everything that I'm saying is right in front of your face and you're not doing anything about it. You're not doing anything about it. I'm screaming to the world, putting my reputation on the line. I got people wanting to cancel the fight. People telling me I need to go to a mental rehab to pit me into the psych ward because I'm speaking the truth. Please help me and you help the children. You ask me what the next step is? I feel like we need to get together. Together every every time. Rug. They're going to keep doing this to children. You know, Jeffrey Epstein ain't the only island. Hmm. That's what I will say. They blackmail each other so they can have a, a union where they won't snitch on each other. Think about that. They do horrible things together so they don't snitch against each other and they're rich so they hold each other accountable. If you, if you say something, I'm gonna say something and everything comes down. Think about it. Let them, let them know about okay. your foundation you wanna start too. And I'm starting my foundation. Who is that? Let them know about the foundation. Who is that? Ryan looked off to the side. You see that? He looked off to the side. I'm going to start too. And I'm starting my foundation, Save the Children. Also, release the truth. Nonprofit. I don't want anything. Have I asked for $1 from any of you guys? Have Why I made a dollar from anything I'm saying? If anything, I've probably lost money. 
Ryan Garcia said he lost money by doing this. It's crazy that you lost money for speaking. Hold on. Also release the truth. Nonprofit. I don't want anything. Have I asked for one dollar from any of you guys? Have I made a dollar from anything I'm saying? If anything, I've probably lost money. It's crazy that you lost money for speaking the truth and trying to save children. What sane world do we live in? We, it, it's insanity for telling the truth now in a, in a world full of lies. Everybody went crazy when I said Bohemian Grove, and I'm not going to get into that. Not my What up, fight world? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Wow. So the clip you heard at the beginning was Ryan Garcia. He said he ain't finished. He got more stuff to expose and air out. He's talking about Illuminati and a gang of other things. Now, what you see on the screen, we're going to go through. Ryan Garcia says, and I quote, there is proof of time travel. I have it. And I'm going to post about it tomorrow for my second video and go deep on explaining it. Be ready to dive deep. If you see me act normal on Instagram, that's because I have to. And also on Twitter, I have to do this until the acquired time. But trust me, I don't want to be quiet. Let's talk on here. Ask me questions until they find out about this. Also, they are making me get a mental evaluation. I will pass, of course, because I'm not mentally ill. Wow. I don't know what Ryan is going through, but this sounds pretty severe. Make sure you stay to the end of this video. I will play the full TikTok. I'm going to try to make it through, but Ryan already is saying some crazy things. But stay tuned to the end. I will play the full video from Ryan's TikTok exclusive leak case you missed it and i will provide my commentary it's going to be a rough one so ryan garcia he posted these on tiktok and he has some other tweets i'm going live at eight to nine i'm dropping bombshells real discussion real proof be there i'm going to expose their rules and where do we go from here we can't, he says, we can't just let this die down. They want us to go on and act. Wow. They want us to go on and act like, well, that was just a moment where Ryan went crazy. Nah, we have them right where we want them. We are the generation to stand up. We are the generation to set the table for the Lord's return. Let, let God's will be done, not mine whatever that means. Oh my gosh. So I don't even understand what's going on, but roll the clip. So right here, this is Ryan Garcia's TikTok. Let go. Not mine. Okay. So with that being said, I'm not doing this for clout. I'm not doing this for anything. This doesn't. So he's saying he ain't doing it for clout. I'm not doing this for anything. This does nothing for my fight. Well, at least he admits that it does nothing for his fight with Devin Haney, which is what I've said all along, because I agree with that. It definitely does nothing to help or enhance the fight. This is just me trying to give the facts and the truth of what I've seen throughout the years. All right. And during this point and this time, there's a lot of eyes on me and I'm bringing awareness for the kids, the little kids that are hurting. I know you guys seen that video. And for the record, Ryan is saying a lot of sensitive, deep and potentially triggering scenarios and situational things. So I, I'm going to have to censor some of it for the sake of this video. I'm not even going to say the name, but you know what I'm talking about. It starts with the J. What? And I'm trying to be as I'm trying to be as calm as I can. Trust me, I'm trying Why to be as calm, be calm as I can. And I'm trying to be as safe as I can. But but there will be a time. 
My why it, last fight was for my son Henry. I wanted to fight for him and, and that's what I give the fight to. This time it's for the children around the world. I'm gonna give you guys some facts since some people want some facts. Yes, we do. Three fast facts and I got a paper here because everybody likes facts. They want papers, right? Hold on, this man pulled out a piece of paper. He says y'all want some facts and he got Let's see what these notes are. Facts, and I got a paper here because everybody likes facts. They want papers, right? Everybody wants the proof? Okay. Yeah. Well, let's go into, this is surface level proof. This is, this is common knowledge if you're really paying attention. Okay. Okay. The first fact, with human trafficking, sex trafficking, the global industry of human trafficking, including child sex trafficking, is estimated to be worth 150 billion annually. That's crazy, that's crazy. 150 billion annually. Do you understand what that means? I don't even know how much Amazon is worth, but if this is worth 150, 150 billion, I mean, it's about time we start paying attention for the children. Number two. Globally, the international la hold, labor hold organization. Okay, um, I know he's Gen Z, but how are you going to have sensitive, topical information like this, and you're, you have a, a disguise on, like you're Wyatt Earp in Tombstone, like you're Kurt Russell, like how are you going to talk about some man? This is looking crazy. Do you see what I'm saying? He has, he's acting like he's a reporter. He got a blood. Uh, a joker blazer on and then he has these like prompts or notes or whatever printed out or handwritten and then he has a fake disguise on how do you how does anyone talk about something this deep with that on like a, a snapchat looking filter or a tiktok filter Asian estimates that 1.2 million children are trafficked each year 1.2 million children are trafficked each year. Around the world. What? Around the whole world. The U.S. in particular, where we live, where I live. Okay. The U.S. is the number one nation in the world for consuming sex material. Now, those are the three facts. Those are the facts? And, and I already know about this. I'm going to go a little deep. Okay. No, don't worry. I'm not going to go into. Hold on, hold on. This is so confusing. He said he has some facts for us, and then he read off a paper some, you know, generic facts from Google or whatever. And he keeps telling someone to the side, hold on. But he's saying he's going to go deep. This is getting weird. Hold on. Too deep stuff because at the end of the day, I got a lot of people telling me not to do this. A lot of people, you got to understand the pressure I have. A lot of people are asking, can you guys stop? Stop trying to join the live, please. I'm trying to speak facts right now. But let them know you're trying to leverage your okay. platform. And of course I'm trying to leverage my platform. For what? For the kids. Amen. So, dude, they're putting hats on me. I'm being serious right now. <laughs> At the end of the day, I got a lot of people that told me not to do this. That it's going to get bad for me. I don't care. I live for God. I don't live for anybody else. He said a lot of people warned him not to do this, that it was going to get bad for him. I'm going to touch this really quick. Really, really quick. The rules of satanic worship is it needs to be in your plain sight. That's all I'm going to say. So everything that I'm saying is right in front of your face. And you're not doing anything about it. You're not doing anything about it. I'm screaming to the world, putting my reputation on the line. I got people wanting to cancel the fight. People telling me I need to go to a mental rehab to pit me into the psych ward because I'm speaking the truth. Please help me and you help the children. You ask me what the next step is? I feel like we need to get together. I feel like we need to get together. I feel like we need to get together every every time. Drug. They're gonna keep, keep doing this to children. You know, Jeffrey Epstein ain't the only island. What? Mm, that's what I will say. They blackmail each other so they could have a a union where they won't snitch on each other. Think about that. 
they do horrible things together so they don't snitch against each other and they're rich so they hold each other accountable if you if you say something i'm gonna say something and everything comes down think about it let them let them know about okay. your foundation you want to start too and i'm starting who my foundation is, who is this sidebar guy peanut gallery dude let them know about this tell them about how you're trying to leverage your platform who is that is that his attorney i'm gonna say something and everything comes down Think about it. Let them let them know about okay. your foundation you want to start too. And I'm starting my foundation, save the children. Also release the truth. Nonprofit. I don't want anything. Have I asked for one dollar from any of you guys? Have I made a dollar from anything I'm saying? If anything, I've probably lost money. It's crazy that you lost money for speaking the truth and trying to save children. What sane world do we live in? We it, it's insanity for telling the truth now. In a, in a world full of lies. What? Everybody went crazy when I said Bohemian Grove, and I'm not gonna get into that. But it's the truth. And, and I'm hurt every day because they have tried everything in their power to stop me. And God pulled me through. As you see the rough three days I went through, but God brought me out of it. How do we see it? And you see how more clear I am and everything I'm saying. All I say is, look at my tweets. Is there one lie? Tweets. Is there one lie? You said you know how to time travel or something. What is he talking about? He said, is there Look it one up for me. Somebody, somebody pull out the facts. The most co cases of pedophilia and molestation in the entire world. How do I know this? Did they or did they not? Hold up. Come here. D did they or did they not let me in the Vatican? They did. Did they or didn't they not let me in the back room? They did. Did they or did they not show me all the stuff? They did. What's so? Another thing that a lot of people don't believe, but back in June, in the summer, this was before everything went down, but Israel and Gaza, BB wanted a meeting with me. Can you show them? All right, so this is on June 10th, 2023. One of BB's insiders asked to meet up with Ryan. He said, hey, brother, good morning. I spoke with the prime minister, BB. He would like to meet Ryan, period. And it's right here on text, y'all can see. So that's, and I'm not gonna get further into that. That's just proof. Now you have a little bit more proof of what I'm saying. They think- What? Oh, the, hold on. First of all, I don't even know who that dude is. Second of all, he held a phone with a text bubble. It's reversed. And he's like, you seen the proof. I can't read that. I don't know what that is. Oh my gosh. This is this is like amateur hour. Watch how quickly he holds that and says, oh, aha. You seen the proof of it. It's the words are like reversed, transversed. And he holds it up to the screen for a second. I don't know what that says. It looks like chicken scratch. Watch out how, how long he holds it at the screen. Like we're supposed to read all that as proof. He would like to meet Ryan, period. And it's right here on text. Like one, see. two. So Look. that's, and I'm not. Bro, did y'all see that? It was like two seconds. He's re Look, he was reading it the whole time. And, it, and then Ryan's like, yeah, I proved it. It's now been proven. Watch how quickly he holds that to the screen. It's literally like two seconds. Spoke with the Prime Minister BB. He would like to meet Ryan. I'll do a countdown. Period. And it's right here on One, text. Y'all can two, see. Three. So see, that's, and I'm not going to get further into that. That's just proof. Now you have a little bit more proof I don't of have what anything. I'm saying. They think I'm lying, but I'm totally not. But let's get back to boxing. Let's get back. Okay. Let's get back to this and how this is going to. Hold on. Whoever this sidebar dude is said, let's get back to boxing. They haven't said one thing about boxing this whole time. The only thing he said that was related to boxing at all, and why is Ryan's eyes closed as I look up? But anyway, the only thing he said that was even remotely close to being related to boxing was they want to have me evaluated and mentally checked out, and they want to cancel my fight. That's the only thing he said that was in regards to boxing. And then the dude on the side, peanut gallery dude, is like, oh, let's get back to boxing. You haven't even said nothing about boxing. A bit more proof of what I'm saying. They think I'm lying, 
But I'm totally not. But let's get back to boxing. Let's get back. Okay. Let's get back to this and how this is going to shape your boxing. You know what I'm saying? Your camp and give you the motivation. You see Muhammad Ali, right? He standed up for something that was right. He felt. He standed or stood? The man said he standed up for something. Back, okay. Let's get back to this and how this is going to shape your boxing. You know what I'm saying? Your camp and give you the motivation. You see Muhammad Ali, right? He standed up for something that was right. He felt like it wasn't right, and he went to jail for three years. I'm at the top of my career. I'm feeling the best at my game. I, I want, I I'm going to fight Devin Haney, and I will beat him. First and that fight on. is going to come on. Hmm. But this is a moment in time where we, the generation, we know the truth now. Yeah, and we can stand up for what's right. You hear the cries of the children. You hear them. I have babies. I have little kids out there. Mm. My, my own children. I can't imagine that happening. There is no clout that I get out of this. I was living fine. I was making great money. I had a lot of, I, still making great money, but I had a lot of things going on. The same way they, the same way they came at Kanye. What? Kanye started telling the truth. Bro, he really brought up Kanye. Kanye to the hunt. Huh? Bro, now this is this is all over the place. Kanye. Kanye started telling the truth and they made him they made him take pills. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna take no pills. You're not gonna see me touch no pill. I would love to go live with a person, one person, just one, who's went through what I went through. And don't even worry about this. Because what the what the Illuminati and the elites do is they take what God did and make it theirs. That's something they do. So eyes have angels bodies are covered with eyes. That that supernatural ability to see everything. That's something God created. What your spiritual being, your spiritual self, your sense. Mm. That's something God created. But let, but let them know how this is going to push you forward for the fight, man. Like how this is your motivation for this fight. Is I need he, to who is this guy? Who is he? He's like, oh, let him know how this is your motivation. This is this is weird. This is weird. This is going to push you forward for the fight, man. Like how this is your motivation for this fight. Ezekiel, I need to Ezekiel 10, 12, I believe it is. Look mm -hmm. it up if you don't believe me. Anything you say, I say, just look it up. Just look it up. Ezekiel 10, 12, please. Because everybody thinks this is a joke. It's like the movie, J Look Up. W what's that movie, Look Up? With, with Leonardo DiCaprio, and, and, he, and he's screaming to the world, yo, the world is, is about, a, it, the world is ending. There's an asteroid coming. Everybody's like, yo, let's take some pictures. Remember, like the times of Noah, I'm going to speak this. Like the times of Noah, people will be drinking, and people will be marrying, and everything in life will be this, like, like normal. But God's calling up to his prophets and his people to speak of his return. So yeah, while you guys laugh and while you guys think this is a joke, why do you think Cat, Phil Cat Williams is exposing the truth? Why does he keep name dropping like black celebrities that have had like mental health issues like Kanye West and Cat Williams? Hey, how you doing? Doesn't matter. Like of his return. So yeah, while you guys laugh and while you guys think this is a joke, why do you think Cat Phil Cat Williams is Cat exposing Phil the truth? Why do you think so much truth is coming? Hold on, hold on. Let me just say something real quick though. Like, if if anybody is upset that we need to know who you are, sir. Ryan is trying to shed light on child on children being sex. I think you are the one with the problem. I'm gonna just say that right now. And so with that being said, man, this whole camp is based on protecting the kids, saving the kids. And we're using that as motivation for this entire camp. So if you guys can't, be, can't get behind that message, I think you need to look in the mirror because you yep. need help. They don't even know we've been training. Hmm. You don't want, uh, if I lift up my hood, you'll see a six pack. <laughs> I've been training. Amen. Shout out my coach, Sid, TNT. Hey. TNT, baby. TNT. Let's go. My whole team's behind me. <laughs> if I show you my whole team, why do you think they're rocking with me? Why do you think they always you know, they, they never deny me. Remember, the times will be like no one. Oh, why every one? 
stories of giants coming out, stories of aliens. Can you open your eyes once? The proof is there. I mean, I, I just personally want to say that the the proof is there. Well, let's get some. Let's get some. Uh... Okay, I, I would I would love to get some questions. How do we start up questions? Interact. How do we interact? Questions. Quick ball drawing us. Lightning Q and A. Perfect. If you are confused so far with this whole message, just type the word confused. I don't know how this works, but... Uh, and please don't be shy to ask questions about boxing, guys. Please. please. Yeah, please. Because they're already watching us, bro. <laughs> they're definitely watching us. I don't... That's not a, that's not a question. Do you, do you believe in love at first sight? Um, I think... <laughs> shoot. I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> you know, you know, right? <laughs> <laughs> next how you get a next question I don't know okay do you for money or love do you for money or love what I'm so lost he keeps saying he's exposing but then there's he's just reading like happy when you're in a bad mood I think just understanding that I, I, I'm on my way to uh, fulfilling what God has for me. And no matter the bad times, I just let God's will be done, not mine. And, and that's how and that's how I do it. You know, um, I so wish I could tell you guys more. I love but, you guys. That can't be it. I don't wish for anything. I don't believe in nothing. What is, what's happening? No, we need some more. We, we're going we're gonna to go for deep questions. I, 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 you know, I want, I want more uh, direct questions. Direct question. Okay, let's get, bring on the questions. Yeah, of course. Who is threatening you? You have no idea who's threatening me. A lot of people. A lot of people are threat, threatening him? Where are all the boxing questions at? Come on. Here's a big fight, 420, let's go. We turning up. And we're saving children at the same time. And then we're going to touch a little bit on what happened to me. I personally am not going to speak on what happened to me because then it it, it doesn't both Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did he just say we're going to we're going to touch a little bit on what happened to me and then just say I'm not going to touch on what happened to me? Tell me I heard that wrong. He just said Ryan Garcia just said, "All right, I'm going to touch on a little bit of what happened to me cuz he put some things on Twitter that people had questions about and wanted to follow up with." And then he contradicted himself a second later. Listen. I personally am not going to speak on what happened to me. because Hold, hold on. I didn't go fast. A lot of people. Right here. Right here. Listen. Listen. Where are all the boxing questions at? After Come this, on. Watch. He's a big fight. 420. Let's go. We turning up. And we're saving children at the same time. And then we're going to touch a little bit on what happened to me. I personally am not going to speak on what happened to me. Because then it, it, it does invoke some real pain, mm -hmm. real anger, mm -hmm. and um, I can't do it right now. Amen. They don't know half the things you've been through, bro. Keep it like I, that. I can't. All right, it looks like we're not getting oh, wait, any questions, wait, bro. Wait, wait, time travel. No, oh, no, hey, no we're getting out, we're getting out, we're getting out. Bro. Hey, we out, y'all. No, I don't bro. know how to end this live. Bro. How do we end the live? Bro, time real. travel. Oh, we're out. Bro, we, we have proof. They don't want to give That can't be real, bro. And it ends like that. And it just ends. Wow. It's over. It's really over. They just ended it like that. Wow. You guys let me know what you personally made of that. That was insanely weird. See, Ryan, he had put all these tweets Oh no, I can't wait to expose everybody. I'm not holding back this time. But it almost feels like some kind of game because he never really divulges any information. It's like almost like when you're a little kid and like let's say elementary school and someone says, "Hey ego, I know a girl that likes you. I know someone who likes you." And I say, "Who?" And then they start playing the game, you know, elementary school games. I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you. I've been sworn to secrecy. They're like, why did you even mention it then? If you're not, if you weren't, you know what I mean? If you weren't going to tell me. It's like some, that's what it feels like with Ryan. It feels like some nanana boo-boo. 
like i got this information in the secret society and illuminati like he has all these things and he keeps acting like it's on the tip of his tongue and then he'll stop like he literally posted a text and says that aliens exist and that he has proof of all these things and he says time traveling is real and he has proof of it but then i just watched the whole thing and hopefully you guys i told you to stay tuned to the end i told you guys to watch it and he didn't really cover anything so it's just like talking in circles so this is the problem with ryan garcia like first of all i don't doubt that foul things happen in this world we've heard stories we've seen datelines and you know different shows explore this and different conspiracy theories and stuff so we know the foul does happen foul things happen in this world goes without saying but ryan is playing a dangerous game and he's not helping his case by not really appearing coherent like if you're saying people want you to get a psych check people want to admit you into a hospital people want you to get well and checked up people don't think you're ready for your fight if that's your explanation you're not doing a good job so you're you're only adding fuel to the fire when people are saying these things because what you're saying isn't coherent and if you listen to the spaces with andrew tate he said the same thing where basically ryan garcia he just seems a bit all over the place and by the end of the the call or the 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 spaces andrew tate basically alluded to he hopes ryan is well he said he likes ryan but he doesn't know without a shadow of a doubt if he was intoxicated right ryan keeps posting these cryptic messages and then it's like he keeps leaving you on a cliffhanger i'm gonna show you the proof i'm gonna show you the proof then he literally said i'm gonna tell you a little bit about my situation like what happened to me which i'm assuming is a follow-up to some of the tweets he said that affected him at age two and then he right after he said i'm not and i i talked about it during my commentary in my review right after he says i'm not gonna say anything about it because it's too hurtful i mean this is all over the place this is not making me want to see the fight with devin haney i know devin haney is training Devin Haney is a student of the game. Devin Haney is posting montages. He looks like he's in great shape. He's deep in camp. Ryan Garcia is saying I have a six pack. He didn't show no six pack. And there's very little. He's I feel like there's more of this conspiracy stuff where he's leaving people on the edge and not really. And then it's funny because you have people. They're like, I believe you. But he hasn't said anything. He hasn't. He hasn't actually come out and given the proof that he says he has. But people are like, I believe you. Again, I understand certain things happen. That's up for, you know, you guys to discuss. But what I do know is we've seen very limited amount of Ryan Garcia training. Let me know what you guys think of the full clip. To me, it was a bit bizarre. Nothing was truly really covered. Like, for example, if you're going to do a TikTok live, and expose what did he really expose let me know that in the comment section two you didn't even introduce whoever that was next to you that was almost acting like they were your lawyer or your publicist telling you what to say like it's like somebody it's like an r kelly or something going through a trial and you got off camera his attorney or lawyer who's telling him like don't answer that question we don't even know who that guy was and then he's name dropping celebrities that have had like quote unquote meltdowns like cat williams and kanye west and he's like i'm not gonna get on pills i'm not gonna take any pills i don't know for me that was all over the place and just like his cryptic tweets it leaves more questions than ryan gave answers if you feel different let me know in the comment section and subscribe I told you this was going to be a roller coaster ride when I started seeing Ryan's erratic behavior. And again, some people are going to believe it. Some people are in the middle and they want more information. I want him to drop what he's saying he has, or at least give us something like 
you have proof that time travel exists but then you didn't show us anything and then the guy rushed you off whoever that guy was so it's like if this was like a court case you you're not gonna win you're not showing the evidence that you supposedly have very very bizarre stuff i'm pretty certain that ryan Gar like and here's the thing he also put another after this he put another tweet up and he's like i can't wait to get a loan they keep blocking me they 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 took my phone they locked me out of my bank they took my credit cards and my debit card and locked me out i'm helpless they want to put i don't even know who he who is they somebody tell me who they is in the comment section so i can follow this story after that particular live stream ryan garcia he put another kind of cryptic message he said i'm i'm po'd f man that was controlled not by my choice i have to get alone by myself they are terrified i'm really upset part two instagram live by myself you have my word i'm going live on instagram by myself i can't be fake this is so stupid end quote so at this point now ryan garcia because he's not doing an amazing job of articulating and explaining himself now it looks like you're sending people on a wild goose chase so there's been various theories some people believe ryan garcia some people think he's full of ish and some people think he's trying to get out the fight there's many theories floating around the internet as we speak as to ryan garcia and his behavior and what's causing it some people think he's on drugs or pills or intoxicated again some people think he doesn't want to fight devin haney so he's looking for any excuse to get the fight dumped and kicked out but the crowd that has said that this is his promotion now you have to open that lane of possibility because he keeps having a part one and oh today everything comes out oh i'm showing all the evidence and the proof and then he doesn't do it and then he's like oh part two stay tuned so it's almost like he is dragging it almost like it's a soap opera oh i'm gonna tell you guys everything tonight and then you go there tonight so for the people who think this is just promotion you're not doing a good job the way you're handling it you're not doing a good job of proving those people wrong at the moment because you keep stringing it along stringing it along it's like a girl that you're trying to date and you want to seriously date like you want to be her girlfriend or you want to be her boyfriend excuse me and she has no intentions of dating you you're not her type she friend zoned you whatever and then she keeps stringing you along and you're buying her stuff and that's what this feels like it feels like ryan garcia won't just get to the point won't articulate himself it's always cryptic messages and cut off videos and tweet storms and people are like oh what's going on hey uh, and trying to figure it out and it's very very little actual evidence actual detail of what he's saying and this if this is some kind of gag or publicity stunt this is not good because this is a person who's publicly declared that they had mental health issues so to me that would be a form of almost joking about it which would be foul like there's people in this world who have been affected by some of the topics that you're talking about so if you're doing it just for publicity and you know so people follow along and it's working because people is going viral and stuff like that but it's working perhaps too good it, it, it's like at this point these claims have to be real because if if it comes out that you like it'll be like manti teo manti teo or whatever with the fake girlfriend remember that whole controversy times a million people don't like to be duped like this, this that would be damaging to ryan garcia's brand if you're talking about these sensitive subjects and you're just selling wolf tickets you know 
and you just keep saying oh i don't want to talk about it right now or they cut me off or they took my phone it's it's just it's seeming very weird at this point but that's my personal opinion maybe ryan garcia really drops the bomb i haven't seen it so far but if you have and that's of me recording the video but i don't look for him to stop but the fight to me continues to be in jeopardy he said people are trying to cancel it and get him looked at and other people are saying the fight should be canceled Devin haney's training his butt off ryan garcia it looks like he's dedicating more time to this which is definitely not going to help you beat Devin haney if you're not locked in like i don't even know if derrick james is in the same city because it looked like derrick james was in cali and ryan was in texas so i don't know what's going on i'm sure more things will come out it's sunday so we'll see